Forged in Fire is a popular reality TV game show that has kept the attention of many a sword aficionado for over seven years. Having started in 2015, now with 225 episodes and 9 seasons by late 2022, the series' first 7 seasons were hosted by the subsequently legendary Will Willis, who was in many ways the soul of the show. Even though he was never a participant, Willis's military background definitely helped in hosting a show all about weapon creation, as his personality was all too fitting for the role. He has a history in U.S. Army Rangers and was also a U.S. Air Force pararescue operative. In an interview with Inverse, Will was asked how a man like him went from a military career to being a show host. He replied with, When you're part of a TV production, you're like a cog in a bigger wheel. Just like when you're in the military. It's a very structured thing, so it translates well for me. As an instructor in the military, standing and talking to people and teaching is a big part of my background. So, I'm learning a lot, and I feel like the audience is learning a lot. It's a great experience. Further on, Will revealed quite a few details about his life, which showed that he could never stay in one place for too long, even as a child. He was born on the 14th of February 1975, on a ship cruising near the beaches of Portugal, then moving to Texas, USA with his family aged two. His parents stayed there for only three years, having to relocate for work and other reasons. Willis thus moved to the state of Florida at age 5 and finally once more to California at the age of 8. Fortunately, that was the last big change, and he got to matriculate from high school in the north of the state. Throughout his teenage years, the future host was apparently influenced by his military man father, Jacob Willis, who instilled in his junior the patriotism and discipline of a dedicated U.S. soldier. These circumstances had an obvious impact on Will's subsequent career choice, as the prospect of serving one's country became fixed in the young man's mind. However, military days rolled around, and Will found himself roaming North America once more, moving from base to base for a number of years. As a well-established and certified military instructor, Willis joined the U.S. Army and became part of the 11B2V Ranger Battalion for the next four and a half years. From October 1993 to February 1998, he then realized that the U.S. Army didn't quite match the calling he envisioned himself aspiring to, and he left for the U.S. Air Force. The military expert re-enlisted in June 1998, becoming a fully-fledged pararescue unit operative for the next nine years, until March 2007, after which he performed another year of reserve duty from August that year until that of the next. 2007 is also when he was appointed a military science and technology trainer under contract with Assessment and Training Solutions for the next three years. In 2010, he simply upped and left, seeking a greater challenge and a different way to make use of his skills. In the meantime, he obtained a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in screenwriting and playwriting from the New York Film Academy, and later found employment with Broken Lizard Productions. He eventually made his hosting debut in the reality TV series entitled Special Ops Mission, which ran for six episodes in 2009. Willis returned to the screen in 2013, this time as both the host and the star of the documentary TV series entitled Triggers, Weapons That Change the World in which he tested a whole slew of firearms with great historical significance. A job he definitely got thanks to his military background. The show was only 12 episodes long though and didn't really qualify as the big breakthrough that Willis required to make it in show business. That came two years later, when he was finally chosen as the host of Forged in Fire, a show that continues to enjoy massive success worldwide. He also made other less important brief appearances though, such as in an episode of Rescue Warriors in 2005, being a guest in The Last Call with Carson Daly Show, hosting two episodes of Forged in Fire Beat the Judges in 2020, and Forged in Fire Best of in 2021. Surprisingly, Will also portrayed actual characters in various titles, such as British team member in the 2006 comedy film by J. Chandrasekhar entitled Beer Fest, opposite Kevin Heffernan and Steve Lemmy. He also played Angie's husband in The Valley of Elah in 2007, an uncredited role in the short entitled Waste of Time, and even the character named Willis in the short film Sovereign. 
Most importantly, he remained the host of Forged in Fire throughout its first seven seasons, which provided a massive boost to his popularity and turned him into a permanent superstar. Now, Will has to try a lot less harder to be employed as a host than any game show, especially one related to weapons. The New York Film Academy, or NYFA, was apparently quite proud of working with Will, having released a video entitled NYFA Alumni Spotlight on Will Willis. In it, the retired host is seen commenting on the writing process and how he approached the issue, saying, There are a lot of people out there that think, you know, write what you know, write the military. He then mentioned all the qualifications he has, saying, So when I write about things, you know, I draw on that background. Comparing his job to that of a screenwriter, he said, I stand in front of the camera and regurgitate information. I'm good at that. Writing is an entirely different thing. So finally, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to college for this. What's more, at the audience's request, History Channel itself made a whole video on just Willis himself. He can initially be seen treating the contestants as though in a barracks, yelling, Stop your work! Stop your work! until each participant clearly and visibly lifts his hands. To present himself, Will said, I am a television host, college student, personal trainer, former army ranger, and air force pararescueman, and a tactical emergency trauma specialist. When I graduated from high school, I had decided that I was going to join the military. Willis then relayed what the main drive behind his most crucial designs were, saying, I know that when I left home, I wanted my life to be an adventure. I didn't really have a plan for my future other than to live day by day, knowing that no matter what happened, I did the best that I could. And also to honor my family, my father was in the military and I grew up with it. He stated that he later joined the Air Force, not because the army wasn't cutting it for him, but because I really liked the search and rescue and recovery aspect of the pararescue. And I was an Air Force pararescueman until 2008. When asked about his success and what he finds most important in the show, Willis said, The best piece of advice that I ever got is pay attention to details, because details matter. I learned that in special operations. The famous host also revealed a few secrets about Forged in Fire that not many would be comfortable finding out, which is that both he and the jury have a contract with History Channel which forces them to keep pushing the contestants one step further, no matter how good their creation already is. This is shown in the video, especially when Will reveals a number of quite outdated shotguns and says, you'll be making your weapons from these weapons, steel, from that suit of armor, chainsaws. Willis then happily announced what everyone wanted to hear, emphasizing that it's the car challenge. Meaning that one lucky participant has a chance of walking away with money and driving away in a brand new vehicle. He then further clarified just how intent the production team is on increasing viewer value, saying for season 3 of Forged in Fire, we give these guys complicated challenges. You can only use materials from animals to make your handles. Today, you'll be using a cold forge. One very strange challenge featured in the video was shaping metal without hammers. As the video itself shows, Will says to the competitors that, We've removed all of the hammers in the forge. Today, you won't be making knives. Will then outlined the obvious, saying, Sometimes it's a conundrum that they have to get to the bottom and solve. And you know, watching them work through that problem is very frustrating. And that's when that term comes into my head. Pay attention to the details, because the details matter. When asked about his passionate reason for changing professions, he said, One of the things that I enjoy about Forged in Fire is that we're examining what it means to be a craftsman. A lot of these smiths, they come on this show, they specialize in blade making, and I had no idea that so many people were earning a living as knife makers. Finally, he basically expressed how proud he was when he got to host Forged in Fire saying about the former contestants, to see the precision that they put into hand hammering something out, doing the fit and finish, it's really impressive. And you know that a little bit of that guy's heart and soul goes into every single blade. Finally, his message and the meaning of the show is simple, saying, the fact that we can inspire other people to maybe pursue this craftsmanship, that's what appeals to me. It's apparent that Will came to the casting couch with this attitude, 
since he was chosen to host the show without too much deliberation, and very early on. While many fans believed upon the premiere of season 8 with the new host that Will either got into an argument or even legal trouble with History Channel, or simply got bored and left, the actual truth of the matter is much simpler and a lot less dramatic. Willis started dating his beloved Crystal Amina at some point in the 2010s, eventually marrying her in October 2017. The two are deeply in love and post on social media all the time, which had been going on throughout most of Will's time in Forged in Fire. However, while not having enough time for his wife is one thing, not being there as a father is a completely different matter. With a single episode of the show taking three to five full days for Will to film, it simply wasn't viable for him to keep doing that while having a newborn son at home. And thus, he left show business when Orion Willis was born in March 2020. With no drama having occurred between them, History Channel and Will split on amicable terms, with an open possibility of the military expert returning to screen at some point down the road. As a matter of fact, the world-famous company released a statement regarding the situation, saying, As with any legacy series that has had the privilege of being on the air for 5 plus years, fans will notice new names and faces from time to time. While we appreciate Will Willis and everything he brought to the series, we are excited to start this new chapter and welcome Grady Powell into The Forge as our new host. No one person is bigger than the show or the company. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.